This is KTN News. This is Morning Express. It is now 20 minutes to 7, and Michelle Ngela is just getting ready to have an interview very shortly. And this is, of course, focusing on the doctor strike. But a quick reminder of our question this morning with the disaster, or rather the drought being declared a national disaster, and also the doctors being thrown into the gallows yesterday. Is the government concerned about its people? would like to interact and find out from you what you have to say about that, whether you feel the government is actually concerned about you or are they too busy, concerned about the voter registration exercise? So, Michelle Ngele, uh, this is where you take it up. But looking at the response, it looks like quite a number. I'll give the figures later, but it looks like there's quite a number that feel the government is actually not concerned. Mm -hmm. All right, and let's now bring in our medical practitioner, Dr. Kevin Ndede. Many thanks for joining us here in studio. And, of course, the focus of our conversation this morning is the CBS 7, as they're now being referred to, yeah. the seven officials of the Doctors' Union. What are your thoughts about what what we are following is the fact that uh, they're now serving their one-month jail term. Um, the happenings of yesterday were very unfortunate for, one, the doctors of this country, mm -hmm. and secondly, it's a very unfortunate for our country itself, um, the people of our country who rely on uh, doctors in the public sector to a large extent mm -hmm. uh, to achieve their health care. So the happenings of yesterday um, evoked a lot of anger in us. Uh, because we do not see um, how uh, throwing our leaders into jail ends up sorting out the dispute that the Kenya Medical Practitioners, Pharmacists and Dentists Union put across to be solved. Mm, the, what, the what expectations did doctors have? What was the suggestion on the way forward? Uh, I think if uh, you followed court proceedings as of yesterday, uh, mm. the Kenya National Commission on Human Rights had made a plea to the court that um, talks had progressed well over the last seven days. Remember, Kenya Commission for Human Rights was one of the co-chairs, together with uh, the court secretary general. Um, and they had reported that talks were going on well. Actually, um, information that uh, we have is that a lot of the issues had been discussed and agreed upon. And if we just had a few more days, then we would have reached an amicable agreement that would have taken doctors back to work. Mm -hmm. But in that same light, uh, Kotu boss Francis Atwoli did make some very serious uh, allegations, not just against the Ministry of Health, but also against the doctors. And in the same manner, Kenyans have defended and criticized doctors in the same measure. The allegations are that senior doctors under the Kenyan Medical Association are misadvising the juniors because they want the strike to continue for their own personal interests. I think that's a narrative that um, has been overplayed by government functionaries. Uh, the truth of the matter is um, there's only one union for doctors. Yeah, let's, let, let's, not, let's not forget that Atwali is not quite a government functionary. Yes. Um, as, as I was saying, um, there's only one union for doctors. Uh -huh. And this includes doctors of all cadres, whether they are medical officer interns, those who are freshly graduated from school. Uh, there are those who have been registered as medical officers, mm -hmm. having duly completed their internship. And then there are the category of uh, doctors called uh, residents or registrars who are in training, specialty training. And then there are those who are called consultants, who are this category of senior doctors, who probably uh, doc uh, Mr. Twoley was referring to. Now, there's no doubt within the union who the leaders of the union are. Mm -hmm. And the mandate of negotiating um, the CBA um, and discussing the dispute at hand, the industrial action that doctors took, is the sole function of the KMPDU officials. Yes, um, they might get advice from um, different quarters. And in the doctors' union, um, our voice is equal. Mm -hmm. um, whether you're a consultant, you're a professor, your voice is equal to that of an intern. So you're denying the allegations? So 
in short, um, that's a fabrication of um, whoever said it. Mm -hmm. And there's no misadvice that is coming from our senior doctors. All right, that being said, what options then do doctors have now with their seven union officials already in jail? Um, I don't think we have been given too much options. Um, as doctors of this country, we stand in solidarity with our leaders, mm -hmm. the CBS 7, as they have come to be christened. Um, and so for the time that they serve their jail term, we shall not have any engagements um, in terms of negotiations or any movement towards um, resolving the current For the dispute. next one month? For the next one month, there shall be no engagements whatsoever. All right, so that, what does that mean then for the Kenyan? Because there's been a lot of criticism towards the doctors that you have forgotten that your cause is a humanitarian cause. It's been 72 days already. 30 more days is a really long time and more Kenyans are going to suffer. I agree absolutely, Michelle. Um, the truth of the matter is this industrial action has been mismanaged. Mm -hmm. um, and those who want to apportion blame to the doctors um, are not being... Uh, very truthful with the facts. Mm -hmm. uh, so the truth is uh, doctors have always had one demand and that has been the CBA 2013. So all we wanted was that it becomes registered and implemented. Of course, um, the government side, um, especially the Council of Governors would want to hear none of this. So 30 more days is a really long time it is not in the interest of doctors uh, to stay on strike. Mm -hmm. Remember when we went to train as doctors, our aim was not to sit at home and go to railways club and raise pressure to the government to implement our CBA. Mm -hmm. When we trained and qualified as doctors, our intentions were very clear, and that was to serve the people of Kenya. So I must reiterate that it hurts us when we are not able to serve the people of Kenya. Remember, the people of Kenya are us. We are also the people of Kenya. We have relatives, mm -hmm. we have friends, and a lot of them use the public health care system. So issues that affect public health care are also issues that affect us as doctors. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, you know, Kenyans, Kenyans are quite skeptical of that because they say, should you have felt their cause, then doctors would have been back to hospital already. But that having been said, doctors, the seven officials are in uh, jail for contempt of court, right? Not because uh, of the CBA per se. So what, where does that leave the 2013 CBA with regard to negotiations? Um, as I said earlier, in terms of negotiations, there shall be no engagement because uh, one, as it stands now, it, it means there are no officials in the first place to negotiate with, unless you want to take those negotiations to uh, jail. Mm -hmm. And I don't remember anywhere in the world where people who are incarcerated have been involved in um, legal negotiations. Uh, that would be negotiating under duress um, with uh, literally a hammer hanging over your right. head. And I don't think such a venture would be in the interest of doctors, in the interest of the public. Uh -huh. Because any outcome of such negotiations would mean um, the doctors would not um, have negotiated in good faith. All right. All and right. that is what we have experienced throughout uh, negotiating this uh, dispute with government. Uh -huh. The other side, which is government, has not had um, good faith right, in the right. negotiations. Okay, and of course the government also says the doctors do not have good faith. It's a lot of back and forth. But the events of yesterday uh, ended up with the doctors. You were among them at the, the Railways Club holding a vigil. And uh, there was talk that uh, you wanted to go see union officials, but you could not uh, see them. Were you able to see them? Uh, we were not able to see our union officials um, soon after they left court. I think... Um, there was a lot of hide and seek, which we do not understand why. Uh -huh. um, I think the justice system should be fair to everyone, that if you are arrested and put in prison, whether that is uh, fair or not is debate that uh, we can have another day. Uh -huh. uh, but having been taken to prison, I think just like any other person in prison, I do not see the harm in allowing your people or your friends to go and visit. 
Um, so as late as yesterday when we were having the vigil at uh, the Railways Club, mm -hmm. um, we did not have much information as to where uh, our leaders had been incarcerated. Mm -hmm. But we had been told that the men were taken to Kamiti prison and the women to Langata prison. Um, well, that might have been the indication, but we could not actually uh, access uh, our leaders in those institutions that you have mentioned. Mm -hmm. Have you established the location now? Um, we have established, uh, as you say, that uh, the men were incarcerated at committee mm -hmm. and the women uh, at uh, Langata, Langata Women. Yes. All right. Thank you very much, uh, medical practitioner Dr. Kevin and Dede. They are talking to us about the doctors' strike and, of course, uh, the incarceration of the seven officials of the doctors' union. Yesterday, Dr. Ndede here is saying that, of course, negotiations over the 2013 CBA will now not continue for the next 30 days for as long as the union officials are in jail. And, of course, a very sad state of affairs, uh, Michael, here, 30 more days for Kenyans to wait for medical health care. If not Nothing comes out. And unfortunately, like the African proverb goes, when the elephants fight, it's the grass that suffers. Absolutely. So you've got those.